All right, I want to thank you all for coming this morning to the 174th. Uh, with me on my right is Elise Stefanik, the uh, uh, freshman congresswoman from the New York 21, which is to the north and east of us. And to my left is Richard Hanna, the sage old uh, congressman from uh, the Utica area, who has uh, been a mentor for me starting out. He was mentored before the camp uh, I was elected and continues to be. I'm glad to have both of them with me here today. We're here today because this is the first of two stops we're making military installations, the 174th, and then we're going to go to the Stephonics District, and we're going to uh, visit Fort Brown. These are two critical institutions in our area from a military standpoint, which I'll talk about in a moment, but also from an economic standpoint. They both uh, provide profoundly positive economic impact to our communities, and Fort Drum is uh, the big kahuna, if you will, because it has an impact over a billion dollars uh, a year to our economy. But the 174th is, uh, it, it does very well as well, and it really contributes greatly to the economic vitality of Central New York. When I was a kid, growing up in Central New York, I used to love watching the fighter jets take off from here. Uh, and, and the F-16s, which, which flew around here for quite a while, up until about 2010 or 2001. I think it's 2010. Uh, it's always fun to see, and I knew fighter pilots, uh, I loved watching it. And uh, the mission here has changed, it's changed quite a bit. But they, they, it's very modern. They're, they're involved in the MQ-9 Reapers, and it's fascinating what those things can do more safely and more precisely than a fighter pilot could ever do. My apologies to Colonel Semmel when I say that. Uh, one of them, of course, behind us here. Uh, not only are we together uh, to support the military installations, but it's evident from the MQ-9 that that works in tandem with other installations as well. For example, the training missions are done here, pilots are trained here, and then they go up to Fort Drum and fly them out of Fort Drum. And that's something that I see, it's just not evidence of the partnerships that we have, partnerships that we have going on. The 174th also is one of the largest training facilities for MQ-9 pilots in the country. And they flown missions all over the world, I'm quite proud of them. And I thank Colonel Semmel over there for uh, his leadership here and for his uh, taking us around today to kind of get us up to speed on what's going on. Uh, bottom line is, we're all together in this, uh, Congressman Hanna, Congresswoman Stefanik, and myself, uh, to make sure that these installations are, remain vital. I think it's critical that uh, Elise is on Health, House Health and Armed Services Committee, and uh, we are going to share information with her on a regular basis. For my position in Homeland Security, it's very important to, to know what these capabilities are, perhaps to look at alternative uses in the future for border security. And uh, I look forward to uh, working with them moving forward on this. I look forward to going to Fort Drummond uh, a little bit after this so we can uh, learn what's going on that side of the thing.